Hello everybody, in this video we're going to do another Python project, which is a tip calculator. So this is what a tip calculator looks like these days. You'll get a bill and then at the bottom it'll say suggested tip. But in the old days, this did not exist. You either needed a calculator or you had to do it in the head. And if you didn't have those things or abilities, it was a lot of frustration. Thank goodness for modern conveniences. Here's the program in action. The computer will ask me for the total bill. I will input the total bill and then the computer will calculate the tip. It's best to test with an example that you know the answer to, which is why I'm testing with 100 first. It should also work with other total bills, as it does here. And lastly, I'm just going to point out, it does not round to two decimal points. And that's OK. We're not going to worry about that for now. So here's the starter code. The link is in the description below. I'm going to be in the Dr. Wu Python starter codes REPL. The link to the video, when I update it, it will be at the top. The link to the program run will be next. And now I'll do this Create the Python File section. I've already done this in the Mad Libs video, so I'm going to zoom through this. If you already know it, just fast forward. New file, the 013 tip calculator. I'm going to add that file into my REPL. Can't have any spaces anywhere. So this is my new file right here. Then I'll copy and paste the starter code instructions in. So Control A is select all, Control C, copy, Control V, paste. And here I go. I'm in the new file I just created. Step three and four, I'm gonna set my replit to run this new file. So I go up and show hidden files, which makes my replit appear. I'm gonna edit in my replit the entry point. So the entry point's gonna point to my 013 tip calculator file, which by the way, I've named with it Dr. Wu at the end. You should name your file with your name at the end. So we know what it is. And lastly, I'm gonna test this file. So I'll do a quick test, print tip calculator. And when I run it, if Replit's set up correctly, it'll do this print, and it does. All right, so now I'm gonna get started on the file. I'm gonna expand my coding window, which will make it easier to code. Step one, ask the user for the total cost of the items. So how do we ask a question in Python? It's an input, variable equals to input, and then parentheses, and the question inside the parentheses. I'm gonna pick a good variable name for my variable, and I'll make it cost. Other ones would also be good, total, total underscore cost. As long as it's good, the English language can help you figure out what's going on. All right, so the next step is to calculate the tip for 15, 18, and 20%, and you will need to use casting. So we wanna remember again that if it comes from input, it's a string, and there's no math to be done to strings. So to do math, I need to cast it. I'm gonna cast cost and turn it into a float. I wanna be careful not to cast it into an int because if my cost has decimals in it, the int will drop the decimals and I don't want that. Then I'll go on to calculate the tip. I'll just do the 15% one. I'll give it a good name again. I want it to be obvious, so I'll call it 15. 15 equals cost times 0.15. I'm just gonna do this one for now. And lastly, I'm going to print this out so the program has given me a format. So I'm gonna, how do you print something? Use a print parentheses. And how do you print two things stuck together? Well, the first will be a string and I'll write 15% tip colon inside quotation marks. Quotation marks makes it a string. It doesn't matter that I have these special characters, the percent, the colon. If it's inside the quotation marks, it's a string. Then I wanna print out 15, but now I have a problem because 15 is no longer a string. 15 is a float. And when I run it, it crashes with some error about not being able to concatenate strings and floats. And you cannot join strings and floats. So what I have to do is cast this back into a string just for this one line. So I'll do that right now, str parentheses 15. I'll run it and it looks good. I'm gonna to try to auto grade it now just to see how I'm doing, even though I'm not quite done. So I'll download my file, save it, Then I'll go to the Autograder website. The link is in the description below, but it's going to be drwuvideos-autograder.herokuapp.com. I'll select the correct lab. I'll drag and drop in my file, submit. And it looks pretty good. Passes, I ask the question. I did a casting. When I input 100, the 15% is correct. When I input 100, it's not correct for 18% and 20%, but that's okay. I haven't done that part of the program yet. It still works when my tip is 132.62 for 15% doesn't work for 18 or 20%, but that's just because I haven't done those yet. So overall, I'm feeling pretty good about how this is going. When I look at the pep aid errors, a lot of these are trailing white spaces, which are in the starter code, which I need to fix, but I kind of want to show just one of these, which is the very last one. Line 37, no new line at end of file. So what does that mean? It just wants me to 
not end right here. I'm just gonna type in enter and then it's happy. So re-download, resave, resubmit. All I need to do is click back and submit. And I've gained some points and those pep aid errors have gone away. When you're done with the lab, if you're in my class, turn in the code to Google Classroom. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.